Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to a new video. My name is XD and welcome to my studio. So here's the thing. I made this beat and I'm not all the way happy with it. I'm just not connecting with the vibe of this beat. So I want to try and give it a second chance and rework it and see where I can take it and see if I can actually come up with a better beat. If this turns out to be a really cool video, let's do 500 likes and then we can turn this into a series. So this can be episode one. Anyway, let's let's check it out. So I'm just going to play this beat like from right here yeah i'm still on the fence about this b bro like I don't know, it's just not connecting with me in that kind of way. Yeah, uh, that I did make it and you know, you let me know what you think down below. I, I think I'll just create a new save, like I'll just come here to file and I'll just say save as new version. So the first thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this automation here. I'm going to delete that because if I remember correctly, this was the automation for the keys, which are these. Yeah, I don't like these chords, man. And I think I was trying to compensate by adding a little bit of automation to try and make them better, but nah, bro. Where I think I can start is maybe by starting by the drums here. So I'm just gonna loop this section here where everything is playing. Okay, I think I'm okay with this kick. This kick is fire solid, powerful. And I'm not really sure about those maracas. Okay, I'm also gonna mute that. And let's see what else we got. Now that bass line is terrible. And I also need to change that. Okay, so off the bat, I think I need to delete and remove that sound there. I hate that sound. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to remove this open hat. Okay, I think we get and I have a little bit of some noise some background noise here. And I kind of EQ'd a little bit, but let me just trim the sound a little bit. There we go. I think that's okay. And then if I go back here, I'm going to leave that there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace these chords, this chord progression, I'm going to take these off and then I'm going to record like a new, like a new pattern here. All right. And I'm going to quantize. And then I'm going to also, I'm going to fix the velocity. Spread out like this. So I'm going to mute this kalimba sound here. Ooh. Okay, I kind of like that. I like that. I can add some reverb. I'm going to take off this plug in here and I'm going to throw on maybe a convolver. Ooh. That's nice. Now we have those chords just like that. Okay, let's see if we can bring back the maracas. Let's see how that sounds. Ooh.
Okay, the maracas are working now and it's kind of coming together. I kind of like where we're going with this track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace these strings. Obviously, they were following the original chord progression, so I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to draw in a new one. And I'm going to reset that. And you know what I want to try with these strings is that I'm going to duplicate them and then maybe have another copy of these same notes like an octave higher like that. Let's see if we do it a third time. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Okay, so we have another pattern here. I think this is a... I don't like that, so I'm definitely going to delete that. And boom, boom. And we have a GMS. We have a GMS sound here. Uh, let's go down here and maybe pick a Reese bass. And go. And go up. Okay, I think I'm gonna record that. I like how it's going. Ooh, that sounds fire. Okay. There's the notes. So now I just need to make this one a little bit longer like that. And then I just reset. And then quantize. Now we're getting somewhere, we're really getting somewhere with this tune. Okay, so now we need to sort out the bass, but there is a few sounds that I think I need to pay attention to here. Uh, there's a sound right here before we get to the bass. Okay, I hate that sound, I hate that snare. I'm gonna delete it. That sounds terrible. I'm gonna mute this GMS bass. And then I'm gonna work on my bass pattern, which is this one here. So I have these low notes like this sub bass, and then I have this log drum. So let me just tweak this log drum a little bit. Oh, okay, that's fire. Let me record that. <laughs> that sounds so cool. Okay. Okay, something like that. I think that sounds cool. And then I'm gonna save that. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna convert these log drum hits into like shorter log drum hits. So I'm gonna select them all. And then I'm just going to zoom in and change my grid to none. And then I'm just going to do that. So they're going to play like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the same pattern here. So I'm going to go copy and I'm going to paste it on this sub bass channel. And I'm just going to extend these sub bass notes. So I'm going to zoom in and then I'm going to extend these and quantize. Come on, start here. Let me 
transpose these notes up. Okay, I think I'm gonna extend this note a bit longer. that one okay maybe I can go lower like that Woo! okay it came together bro like it super came together Okay, so I think it came together now to play back the track so that you can hear it in full quality so that you can hear um, where we're at right now, okay. Okay, you let me know what you think. Did I improve on this track? But I think I'm now feeling this track that I ended up with more than the original one. And I think this was a success. 500 likes, I come back with uh, episode two and we can continue this as a series. And again, remember to like and subscribe if you want to join this channel. We have amazing videos here. And you can also check out this next video here if you wanna watch another video here on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I am X and I'm out. Peace.